Is words of affirmation your love language? Kids watch. Moms talk. Mom gamers. Thanks for tuning in. And this is Mom Gamers. And we are talking today the book, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. And l- click on the link below because previously we talked about the first love language, which was receiving gifts. And today we're going to talk about words of affirmation. And here with me is one of my good friends, Rachel. And she and I are going to talk about words of affirmation. Rachel, what do you think about words of affirmation? I first think of the way that your mom talks to you. I feel like that's like the best way to describe how words of affirmation make us feel. Um, We always want encouraging words. And I feel like, generally speaking, moms are can be good at this. This tends to be sometimes a natural tendency. Granted, I want to preface that with recognizing that not all moms are good at that, and there are situations where that isn't happening, and I'm really sorry if that hits a nerve for someone. But for me, in my life, that's the place that it comes from, is my mom. And uh, the big one was notes in my lunch of words of affirmation, so that in the middle of my school day, I would get a little note that said, you're doing great, keep up the good work, I love you, or something along those lines. What about you? Mm, I never thought about my mom. The whole time I thought about this was with my husband. Mm -hmm. Well, my mom, because she's more industrious, so she's more like, do work hard, remember to work work hard. And so she she appreciates service, I guess. That's her... Mm -hmm. Love language. Anyways, words of affirmation. It's an iffy. It's I like it, but it's not the deal breaker for me. If my husband constantly showered me with praises and stuff, uh, or if he didn't, I'm I'm really fine either way. It's nice once in a while he does say a couple nice things. Yeah. But um, and it it sticks through. However, it's not a deal breaker. But then when you've said mom with my kids, I love to shower them with good praises right hey you did good job doing this good job working hard you're a child of god keep working um so that's that's funny that's my love language to my kids though too yeah anyways anything yeah anything else i yeah i'm with linda words of affirmation with my spouse only go so far i think that we all need to be recognized i think in a job You know, I went from working a full-time job, having a career, to then being a stay-at-home mom. And that was a large transition because, in a job, you complete a a task and you're generally told that you did a good job or you're told that you didn't do a good job. And so you either um, make improvements based upon the critiques that you're given or you continue to do what you've been doing because of the words of affirmation. And so then being a stay-at-home mom, there are definitely times where... I've needed words of affirmation, but the for me, for whatever reason, they don't seem to hold for a long time, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it, but, like, um, <clears throat> you can offer me words of affirmation, but, you know, an hour, two, three, four hours, I'm going to need additional words of affirmation. So they don't, like, they don't, they're, like, feel, the feeling of love that I get from them isn't very long-lasting, if that makes sense. But you brought up another good point. In a work setting, I I really get a high from an employer or coworker. Hey, you did really good. Good job. Wow, you got some good skills. That it boosts my confidence. I love it. It makes me even want to work harder. Exactly. Maybe that got maybe that's the mom my mom issue again. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I think at home with my husband, not so much. Maybe because my husband is kind of a quiet person, anyway, sort of. <laughs> Whereas in a work setting, definitely, it's almost like equal to a paycheck. Right. The, the almost having uh, good praises about my work ethic is very high for me, a high boost. Well, it's a huge motivator. Um, I think that it goes to the level of gratitude. When someone's offering you words of affirmation, you feel like they appreciate what you did. So I think that that's. I think that the love languages, the big part of them is, is what you need in order to, to, like, what you need in order to feel loved. It's not that you need necessarily words of affirmation. What you need is you need 
someone to make, you need to know that other people recognize that you're working really hard and you're doing a good job. Whereas with the service one, you need someone to um, recognize that you need help and that you're struggling or that um, you've done all the hard work that you can, but you still can't do it all yourself. Um, I don't know. Things like that. I think that it, I, I think that the more that you dig into the love languages, there are these underlying reasons why obvious it's probably super obvious to other people sorry mm. but um there are underlying reasons why that's your love language and it right. comes down to a more baser need that you have okay yeah i'm glad you brought that up back to the work thing and so this summer my kids and i were to earn money we're gonna mow, mow lawns and we we've done that already a couple times and i we saw the neighbor again the one that we one that, who hired us who were mowing the lawn for mm -hmm. and she says oh you guys did such a nice job and that again boosts my confidence and i'm and i have something to show for to be proud of yes and for the kids to say hey look what you did look what your hands did be proud of what you did yes so okay all right so sure. uh thanks so much can you tell me what your love language is is it words of affirmation is it not let us know uh, hit subscribe like Comment below and tell one friend about our channel. And remember to take us with you on your smartphone. Bye. Bye-bye.